Well, I'm going to tell you the story about vulcanizing rubber. Now, in 1839, a gentleman by the name of Charles Goodyear was working on the stovetop, and he was working with some, uh, some rubber, and he accidentally put some sulfur in it. But instead of spoiling the soup, so to speak, what he ended up with was this strong, resilient material. And what he discovered was that when you add sulfur to rubber, you, uh, and you use heat as a catalyst, it does something called cross-linking, which means these, uh, what was then, I guess, completely independent cells form these bonds that make them come together and make them extremely strong and extremely resilient. From there, they figured out we can make a lot of things with this, notably the tire. And the process of vulcanizing rubber looks a little bit like this. They put that rubber solution inside of a tire mold, and then they close the cavity, they inject it with high pressure steam, which is the catalyst, it gets the cross-linking going, pushes it outside against the mold, and voila, you have yourself a tire. Interestingly enough, it's also how they make the rubber on these pencils, also known as the eraser. So, same thing, they uh, vulcanize the rubber, they put it in a different contraption called an autoclave, in goes the high temperature steam, close it up, when it comes out, they have this deal, they chop them up into little pieces and put them on the pencil, and there you have vulcanized rubber sitting on the end of a pencil. So, now you know how vulcanized rubber is work. Cross-linking, heat catalyst coming from our favorite mode of heat, steam.